Hello, sports fans. It is Tuesday, May the 19th, the year 2015. And as always, a lot to get to in the sports world, so let's get it going right now. Great to be back with you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. Let's start in the NHL, where last night at Madison Square Garden, the Tampa Bay Lightning beat the New York Rangers 6-2. That series is now tied 1-1. Back to Tampa we go for games 3 and 4. Johnson with three big goals for Tampa Bay last night. I thought Bishop played very well for the Lightning. Lundquist didn't have his typical great game for the Rangers, but hey, let's give the guy a mulligan. He's been great for so long. He's entitled to one subpar game. But this was Tampa Bay's night last night. Tampa Bay deserved to win the game. It should be a shock to no one. This series is going to go, you know, six, seven games. It could go either way. This is going to be a long, good series. So strap yourselves in. It's going to be good. These two teams are very, very evenly matched. Nice win by Tampa last night. They do have home ice right now. All right, and as far as the Western Conference, Anaheim leads Chicago one game to none. They beat the Blackhawks 4-1 in Game 1, Game 2 tonight in Anaheim. I was very impressed with Anaheim in Game 1. Anaheim is much better than they've been in the past. Last year when Anaheim lost to the Kings, they spent the whole offseason redoing their team, tinkering with their team, you know, trying to get better, trying to compete with the Kings. Now, the Kings didn't even make the playoffs, but still, you can see the changes Anaheim made are really working. Anaheim is a solid, solid team. Best record in the Western Conference. They look really, really good. Listen, I have a lot of respect for Chicago, so I think they're going to make this a long series as well. I think the series is going six, seven games. I think Chicago will definitely have their moments in this series, but Anaheim did look very impressive in Game 1. We'll see what the story is tonight in Game 2. So that is where you are in the NHL right now. As far as the NBA, we are set for the Conference Finals. In the West, it will be Golden State hosting Houston tonight in Game 1. Of course, Golden State came roaring back to beat Memphis. They were down 2-1 in that series. They won the last three games easy. Memphis had some injury problems with Allen, their best defender, but Golden State rolled in the last three games. And how about Houston coming back from 3-1 against the Clippers to win that series? That is a terrible loss by the Clippers. The Clippers are up not only three games to one, but they dropped game five in Houston. Okay, you can see that. The Clippers are up 3-2, game six in their building, up 19 late in the third quarter, and they let that game slip away. That's where they lost this series. Then game seven was all Houston. First of all, give Houston all sorts of credit for coming back in the series. Houston is playing in these playoffs without two of their starters. Beverly has been out. Give Houston a lot of credit for coming back in that series. After watching the first four games, I never thought in a million years Houston was going to win that series. So great job by them. McHale kept the team together. Harden stepped up. Howard, nice job by Houston. Terrible loss by the Clippers. And the Clippers had a nice year. They beat San Antonio. But you're up 3-1 in this series. You're up by 19 points in Game 6 at home. you got to close the deal. What that tells me about the Clippers is... They're good, but they're not quite ready right now. That was a terrible loss by the Clippers. Nice job by Houston. you got to like Golden State over Houston here. You just have to. They have home court. I just can't go against Golden State here. And I don't like that this series is starting so fast. Houston just had that dramatic uh, seventh game on Sunday. Now they got to turn around and go on the road basically two days later. This is an impossible spot for Houston tonight. I expect Golden State to roll tonight. Very hard for Houston to come off Game 7 on Sunday, then get right back on the road and go to Golden State, the best team in the NBA. No time to prep or anything. No time to catch your breath. Look for Golden State to roll tonight. I think Golden State's going to win this series, but nice job by Houston getting here. As far as the Eastern Conference, that will start tomorrow. Cleveland at Atlanta. Cleveland, of course, came roaring back to beat Chicago. Nice job by Cleveland. I'll tell you that uh, injury to Gasol really hurt the Bulls. Once Gasol hurt his hamstring, you could see the Bulls were not the same team. But, hey, Cleveland has all sorts of injury problems themselves. Love out. Irving limping around. They got injuries all over the place. Give LeBron and company credit for winning the last three games against a good Bull team. And Atlanta, they came roaring back to beat Washington. Now, I know Wall wasn't 100% in that series, but give Atlanta credit. They've had a fabulous year, and now they are in the Eastern Conference Finals. 
And I've been saying it for a couple weeks now. It looks like we're going to get Golden State and Cleveland. And I think Golden State's going to win the title. The best team in the NBA usually wins. Golden State's been the best team all year. And you look at these other teams. I mean, Cleveland's so beat up. I'm not a believer in Atlanta. Houston's playing without two of their starters, including Beverly, who's their best uh, defensive player on the perimeter. So to me, it's Golden State's year. I think Golden State... When all is said and done, is going to win the title. But hey, we got a lot of basketball to go. So that's where you are in your NBA. Oh, one quick note. You have the draft lottery tonight for those of you that get into that. I know a lot of Knicks fans are into that to see where they're picking this year. Will they get the number one pick, the number two tr pick? I'm not a big draft lottery guy. I think a lot of it is overrated, but you might want to keep your eye on that. Especially if you're a Knicks fan, a Timberwolf fan, a Sixer fan, a Laker fan. You know, you want to see where you're picking in the draft. A lot of good uh, prospects come coming out from college this year. So you do have the NBA draft uh, lottery tonight, as well as Golden State Houston game one. Cleveland Atlanta kicks off tomorrow. That's where you are in your NBA. As far as Major League Baseball, real quick, uh, real quick, as far as the American League, as far as the East, Yankees still in first place, but have not been playing uh, as well lately, have had a rough stretch here, didn't play well over the weekend in Kansas City, didn't play well last week, but they still are in first place. Tanaka should be back soon. Tampa Bay in second place, they always seem to do a decent job. I mean, like I said last week, Tampa Bay was a perennial loser all those years. They won like 40 games. Now they're competitive every year. They're in second place. Boston, Baltimore, and Toronto all stumbling and bumbling. Toronto in last place. They should be better than that. When you look at this division, it's wide open. I don't think anyone pulls away in this division, so it should be a close race the whole way in the American League East. As far as the American League Central, this is a very good division. Kansas City and Detroit continue to play well. Minnesota, very surprising uh, this year. They look pretty good. Chicago, out of the blue, has won six in a row. I bashed the White Sox a couple weeks ago. They have won six in a row. We'll see if they can keep it up. And Cleveland, I had high hopes, but Cleveland, they had a nice year last year. They've been a disaster this year so far. A lot of time to go, but Cleveland, a lot of work to do in a tough Central Division. As far as the American League West, Houston, if you haven't seen Houston, check them out. A lot of good young players. They're a team for the future. Hey, they're a team for right now. They're in first place doing a really nice job. Very fun team to watch. Angels around 500. I don't know what to make of them. Seattle, Texas, and Oakland all under 500. Oakland looks like a dreadful team. I don't expect much from Texas. I thought Seattle would be a little better, though. So we'll see if anyone can catch Houston. As far as the National League East, uh, Mets continue to hang on to first place, although the lead has dwindled. The Mets overall, though, doing a nice job. Harvey pitching really, really well. Mets in first place. Washington in second, right on the Mets' heels now. Washington much playing much, much better, and Harper's hitting home runs all over the place. What does he have, 14 home runs already? When all's said and done, I think this is Washington's division, but I do think the Mets can challenge for that wild card. Atlanta, Philly, and Miami all under 500. I don't expect anything from Atlanta or Philly. People had high hopes for Miami. They're in dead last right now. They fired the manager. They're still without their ace pitcher. He won't be back till uh, the summer. They do have Stanton. They do have Gordon, who's batting 400. But you look up, and Miami's in last place. I'm not a big believer in them. Some people like Miami, though. I won't count them out now, but I don't like what I've seen at all from Miami. As far as the Central... Cardinals, despite not having Wainwright, still lead the division. I've said it a million times. They're just a classic organization. They lose people. They keep plugging them in. I mean, they're just an amazing, amazing outfit, St. Louis. And they are in first place. Cubs doing a nice job. I think the Cubs are a very, very interesting team this year. Cubs could challenge for a wild card spot. I like the team they're building for the future. I really do. Cincinnati, Pittsburgh, and Milwaukee. I mean, they're not doing much. Milwaukee looks like a dreadful team. Pittsburgh, very disappointing. And Cincinnati, they, they're just stumbling and bumbling as well. As far as the National League West, I mean, I've said it all year. It's the Dodgers division to lose. I can't see the Dodgers losing this division. San Francisco is playing a little better, but, I mean, they're not the team they had the last few years. They've had too many changes. I can't see them catching the Dodgers, but you can never count out the Giants. San Diego, pretty disappointing so far. I thought they'd be a lot, lot better than this. Matt Kemp, what happened to him? Remember when Matt Kemp hit 30, 40 home runs every year? Now he doesn't hit a lot of home runs at all. San Diego, I thought they'd be better than this right now. They're kind of mediocre. 
Arizona, don't expect much from them this year. And Colorado, dead last. What a disaster they are. Morneau on the DL again with another concussion. I mean, to me, Tula Whiskey and Carlos Gonzalez can both be traded. The problem is I don't know what you can get for them. Tula Whiskey's been chirping that he wants to be traded. I don't know how much value you get back by trading these guys now. But to me, Colorado needs some changes. I mean, I look at Colorado's lineup. They got some good young players. They got some good uh, hitters in that lineup. But they just... Something is missing with Colorado. I mean, they are in dead last and they look dreadful. So that is where you are in your Major League Baseball all sorts of time for Major League Baseball. There you go. You guys are all caught up. You guys are all set. Tonight, you got some hockey. You got Anaheim, Chicago, Game 2. We'll see if the Blackhawks can tie the series and take home ice. And then you got Game 1 in the Western Conference Finals in the NBA, Houston at Golden State. Like I said, tough spot for Houston. Played Game 7 on Sunday. They win Game 7, they got to go immediately on the road to Golden State, which is an impossible place to play. Very tough turnaround for Houston. I think Golden State blows them out tonight. So that's where you are. You guys got a lot to watch tonight and in the, few days, uh, you know, in the next few days coming up as well. I'll be back with you guys real soon. We'll see where we are in both the NHL, the NBA, and everything else going on in the sports world. You guys, thanks as always for the support. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. Enjoy the games tonight. I'll be back with you very, very soon. Take care.